LeBron James, Cavaliers show up start 76ers how much they still have to learn. Philadelphia, the Philadelphia 76ers faced a test Monday night against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The upstart Sixers had another game in which to measure progress. How do they stack up against LeBron James and the Cavaliers, who have represented the East in the NBA Finals the past three seasons? It was also a test for the Cavs, to face a quality opponent on the road following seven connective victories. The Cavs aced the exam, and Sixers did not. Cleveland won for the eighth consecutive time, beating the Sixers 113-91. Cleveland is 13 seven and a half game behind Detroit for second place in the East, while Philadelphia fell to 11-8. The Cavs' offense continued to hum, James had 30 points, and Jeff Green, Dwayne Wade, Channing Frye and Kyle Korver combined for 50 points off the bench, and their defense showed more improvement, holding the Sixers to 37.6% shooting, including 10.7% on three-pointers. Cleveland is the hottest team in the East, James is having another MVP-like season, Wade is finding his place with the second unit, and the Cavs keep giving reminders that they're still the team to beat in the conference, knowing they get Isaiah Thomas back around Christmas and Tristan Thompson soon. We are just trying to get better each day, each game and we finally figured out who we are, Cavs coach Ty Luke said. We are getting better defensively. Offensively we are moving the basketball, sharing the ball. The Sixers learned the hard way. We didn't play well on either side of the ball, Philadelphia coach Brett Brown said. We give them credit. But we go away feeling like this is not who we are. The Sixers missed 25 three-pointers. That's hard to do, and it's not like Cleveland played great defense or had great closeouts on every missed Sixers three-pointer. But the Cavs' defense made Philadelphia work hard for its points. Center Joel Embiid had 30 points, but he made just 11 of 24 shots. Ben Simmons had just 10 points and 2 assists, both below his season averages of 18.1 and 7.4. Robert Covington missed all 9 of his 3-point attempts. More NBA Grizzlies, Fisdale firing reinforces the power of NBA stars. Power Rankings Cavs keep climbing, 76ers join top 10. Durant, Kaepernick protest changed my perspective on race. Spurs, Popovich won't consult Dr. Parker on Kawhi's return. It was a rough night offensively, and it wasn't good defensively either. James scored 22 of his points in the first half, including 15 in the first quarter. Cleveland knocked down 13 three-pointers. Philadelphia had trouble defending multiple scorers. J.R. Smith and Kevin Love each scored in double figures. We need to pressure and be more active and disruptive, and they need to feel us and they didn't, Brown said. The Cavs minimized Embiid's interior defense by spreading the floor with big men at the three-point line. LeBron just attacked, attacked, attacked and kept attacking, Embiid said. That's what the style of the game really was. They got what they wanted. They took me out of the paint and I didn't do my job, which I usually do, protecting the rim. Cleveland led 72-69 with 3.06 left in the third quarter. With 4.39 left in the fourth, the Cavs were up 103-81. Winning is difficult enough on a nightly basis. Beating a deep, talented, veteran Cavs team is even more difficult. But this is the good news. With Brown coaching and young players improving, the Sixers have shown enough signs that they eventually will be able to win games like these. They'll be able to hold the 74-52 lead they coughed up last week against Golden State. I hate losing, but I think that's actually good, Embiid said. We got our, expletive, kicked, and we'll go back and learn. We can't take any days off. We can't play comfortable. We just have to keep working hard and get better. Follow Jeff Zilgit on Twitter at Jeff Zilgit.